Are you looking forward to Christmas? Traditionally, people fall into two camps. They either love it or they hate it. And I grew up loving Christmas because my dad was a real Christmas fanatic. And he made it really great fun for everybody. We played games and he created a family pantomime. And so, after he died, I tried to recreate that for my children. I tried to create the perfect flat Christmas so that everybody would be happy. And guess what? I never quite managed it. There was always something that went wrong. I forget the gravy, or the turkey wasn't cooked in time. There'd always be some sort of problem, and I used to beat myself up about it for not being able to make Christmas the perfect time that I really wanted it to be for people. And other people will have other stresses around Christmas. For some people, it reminds them of Christmas's past and the people that are no longer with them. If you used to have a traumatic time at Christmas, it would take you back to those traumatic times with only the resources that you would have had then. And so Christmas can be difficult for people for all sorts of reasons. These days I've let myself off the hook. I've done a lot of tapping around Christmas. If I don't have time to bake or I don't even want to bake, I don't do it. I buy things in. And nobody ever seems to notice. I now welcome having my elderly mother and father-in-law with us because I don't know how I'm going to be there. And so I choose to enjoy each time that they come. And I tap on the irritations that always occur. It's just natural. So I thought I would do a Christmas tap along for any of you that might be not quite so comfortable about the thought of sharing Christmas or even being Christ having Christmas on your own as you might like to be. So if you'd like to join me tapping, I'm just going to go through a whole range of things that might be causing a problem for you. And I hope you have a fantastic Christmas.